Hi guys and thank you for joining me for today's video. This video is going to be for Panda Haul Selected. So they recently reached out to me to review some of their products and I was like yes. So I think I was able to spend about 40 bucks on their website and I was able to get about 11 things you guys. Their prices over there are super amazing. Some of these things I have opened up and already started playing with and others as you can see i have never opened so we're going to get into all of this i will also have a link to panda hall selected in the description box below so definitely go and check that out they also shared a coupon code with me and it is stace you can get 10 percent off of your entire order over there and you guys, I have even shopped with Panda Hall Selected outside of the $40 that they allow me to spend because I just wanted some other stuff. And I've already used my own 10% off code as well. You guys, Panda Hall's website is massive. They sell all types of crafty things for all of your crafty needs. It's super impressive to say the least. Um, but I only review the Panda Hall selected item. This is what I was able to get. Let me just count and make sure that I have everything. And then I'll come back and open up some of these packages and show you what they are. Okay, yes, everything is here. So let's just start with these stamps. Okay, guys, I also want to mention that all of the short links to all of the products that you see here will be listed below in the description box. Okay, so these stamps are super cool and I have already been using some of them. Let's put something behind it. Okay, so I have already been using some of them. These little penguins playing at the bottom. I've used super, super cute stamps. They were super easy to color. And I tried to stay away from all of like the little beauty stamp pieces. But I actually used some in these stamp sets. I used both of them together. And they stamped really, really well. It was really, really easy to build a background with. So cute. Okay, so this one says it's the most wonderful time of the year. You have a little mirror Christmas stamp on here. Ho, ho, ho. Just super cute. Another little penguin opening up some presents. These two are snuggled together. All cute. Some little gingerbread men here really really cute and then this one says thinking of you at christmas i did use this stamp and then some of these little snowflake stamps already so i will show you those projects so with these two clear stamps here and they are each sold separately I made a few cards so this here is the first one and I think that it turned out so cute so right here you see that I use those penguins so so cute and then the thinking of you at Christmas came from this set right here. And the little blue snowflakes that I stamped in the background came from this stamp right here. Super, super cute. This snowflake was another die that I had in my stash, but I love the way that this turned out. And then this was some sequins that I had in my stash that I purchased from Hobby Lobby earlier this year. And so that is how that turned out. I really, really like this card. I don't do stamping and coloring enough. I really, really enjoyed making this card. I did add some little shimmer to like the hat and the earmuffs too. And so then this is another one that I created and I just have this circle popped up on some foam tape to make it a little dimensional. I did use this like snow marker which creates this faux snow effect that you have to heat set um, to create the snow that this penguin is playing in. And again, this is the exact same penguin set. I just used the one on the end. I only inked that one up and stamped it, and that is what it looks like. So those two are the same little guys. So super cute. And then it just says, let it snow. And this is a sticker that I had in my stash. Again, I use those snowflake sequins. And this time I only use them in silver to like bring everything together. And I'm so excited about the way that this one turned out. I didn't have to do much coloring on here because I stamped it on this blue background already. I did go over it with my white jelly roll pens. So that is the way that that looked love it these next cards i was trying to mass print and i did a few of them um crafting live with clint so that was really fun so for these cards i used these snowflakes here and created this background which i really really love 
and I've stamped it using the Versamark watermark stamp pad and it's just a clear juicy stamp pad and then I went over it with clear embossing powder as well and so that's how it looks I really really like this color background paper I think the most um this Merry Christmas stamp I did get from Timu for probably about a buck and so that's what these cards look like. I'm super excited about the way that it turned out. And it didn't take long for me to crank these out at all. And they still look really nice. Like I put a lot of effort into it. So those are my cards using these stamps. Now, what was together was this trim. And how cute is this trim? Let's open it up and see. I think it's maybe 21 yards for both of them together. This was around the $8 price range. But like I said, gold and silver did come together. You guys, look at that snowflake trim. It's gorgeous. I love it. Wow, and it is a lot on this roll. I like this roll too. It's sturdy. It's plastic. So excellent i cannot wait to do a project with these so cute and then again in silver okay you guys i also ordered these jump rings and how i ordered rose gold i do not know i am not a fan of rose gold at all but i am going to use them because i have them they are super shiny. I really like that. So, yeah, I, I'll definitely use them. i tell you, whatever I use them on, it won't be matching because I don't have any rose gold chain and I don't want any. <laughs> okay, so that's these. And these are called the Panda Hall Elite 6x1 millimeter closed but unsoldered oval brass jump rings in rose gold. And on the listing, it says that it's about 40 pieces. Well, we can look at that and definitely tell that there's way more than 40 there. And then it does say that it's about 50 grams. So these are super cute. They're going in my stash. You guys, I printed this out and it is super, super tiny for me to see. But let me see. These two should be separate rolls, about 8 by 47 inches of laser holographic leather vinyl. So one is in champagne yellow, and then the other one should be a roll of holographic vinyl. So let's open these up and see what they look like. I'm excited for this. Um, I do plan on making some bows. And some of you know that I have the um, some of the big dies to make those cute little coin purses. So maybe I can make some of those as well. Super exciting. Ooh, okay. That is gorgeous and super reflective. I think this is the gold one. Really, really pretty. And then this must be like the silver holographic one. Really awesome. They almost look like the same color in the camera, but they are not. You can definitely tell that this one is more yellowish. Like they said, I think it's a champagne. Um, I think it's more of a champagne color. So really, really awesome. And then the other one is more of a silver. Maybe you can see it on certain angles. I don't know. It's definitely picking up all of the holographic colors in the camera. But I can look at it and tell that this one is more gold and this one is more silver. But they are definitely super, super reflective. So awesome for that. And it seems to be a lot on this roll too. Wow. Okay, so there's no cardboard in the middle of it. So this is all fabric. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, guys, and the rest of these items are going to be dies. And these dies are not going to make sense to you just looking at them like this. So I will insert clips of their website so you can see what they are supposed to look like. And then I can't wait to come back and show you what I do with these dies. So this first die is the Benning Craft two-piece blind window metal dies. It has like a little window frame with it and then a word. And the word says thank you. So these 
should be like a window and these are the blinds and you can really draw the blinds um, on your card. So I thought that that was super cute and fun and interactive. So I definitely can't wait to use that. And then this next side makes a bow. And so I can't wait to cut this out. I'm sure that I'll have to cut like multiples of some of these and then assemble it. Cannot wait to do this. So you guys stay tuned. All of these projects will be coming soon in another video. So definitely come back, stay tuned, make sure that you have your notifications on. And then this die, you guys have seen me use it already. This is the tear strip. I'll have a link to the video of me using it. I was sent this one from Global Land. So I already kind of reviewed it. So this is a duplicate for me. So super, super cute die. I'll definitely have a link for this one. And then this is the next one. So Global Land sent me this one as well. And then I had ordered it with Panda Hall Selected 2. So super cute. This is a box. It, it cuts out this milk carton like this. I punched a hole in it and put the straw in it. Um, but everything else, it came assembled like this. I think this die has about 20 pieces in it. So it includes the box. All you have to do is cut that twice and assemble it. It comes with the word milk. I'll also have a link to this video so you can go and check that out. Okay, and then this last die is a three-piece geometric flower frame. So right away, I can see that these are a bit smaller than I had anticipated. Okay, so for a size reference, I brought in a little A2 note card. And so this is how these dies would fit on it. So it definitely won't cover the whole A2 size, but I think it'll fit nice with a mat in the background and then this as a layer on top. So I did grab my ruler. It looks like it's about three inches wide and about four inches tall. And so I like the geometric designs in them. So yeah, I'm going to give these a play as well. So you guys, thanks so much for watching my haul. Again, if you're interested in anything from Panda Haul Selected, you can get 10% off of your orders using code STACE. Please stay tuned for more projects that I do with some of these products. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think about these die stamps, the holographic material, the trim, and do you like rose gold? I thank you so much for watching today and until next time, bye.